Hello everyone, my name's Chris and today I want to introduce you to the Astra Essentials adjustable wedge and tripod kit for your smart telescope or your star tracker. Now this consists of the quite well-known Skywatcher AZ3 tripod. This is commonly purchased purchased with beginner telescopes such as the Star Travel or some Evo Star refractors. It's a simple out azimuth altitude azimuth up down left and right mount with friction controls for up and down altitude and a clutch that you can undo to move for course controls in azimuth now there's also fine controls here and here as well and what we've done at first light optics my colleague rob banks has put together a 3d printed kit including these nice chunky fine adjusters which will be good in the winter easy to maneuver with gloves on and the main item is this bar here which sits on the integrated dovetail bolts on and places your smart telescope down the middle of the tripod so it's less likely to tip this is a prototype I've got here. The actual thing you'd receive would include a small toolkit to put it together, but I've just basically got a couple of Allen keys and a, and a spanner from my kit to do this. So the first step would be to put your spreader tray on. It's got some wing nuts. The tripod, by the way, fully assembled, weighs about four kilograms and is adjustable from 70 centimeters to 120 centimeters and the adjusters are here just undo that and then you can extend the legs but i've got it short here because i've not got much room to work in so as you can see these wing nuts just slot in from underneath get those three on and that just stiffens the thing up and gives you somewhere to put accessories now it comes with these two bolts the 3d printed parts and we'll use those to attach this bar here. So you can see it just sits over and the bolts go through, through the holes and then pop the nut on underneath, nip it up, not too tight. a chunky of the two allen keys for that and a ring head spanner just to knit those up Okay, it's nice and solid there. The next step is to pop on the slow motion controls. You've got a flat on this slow motion control there. You just need to line up that with a grip screw. Use a smaller Allen key for that. Just undo it a bit. First of all, slide it on. I'm using the fin end to lever, so I'm not over tightening because it's 3D printed, so we've just got to be a little bit careful. There you go, that's plenty. That's on there plenty strong enough, and that's a nice big turning circle. If that's probably not the right word for it, but you know what I mean. Again, look at where the flat is. You can always turn it round if uh, it's not in the right position. Slot it on to line up with the grub screw, and we'll nip that up. Bonza. So now we've got course control up and down altitude, we've got the course control left and right azimuth and we've got fine controls up and down left and right. Now the smart telescope or your star tracker will attach here 
putting it down the center of gravity through the middle of the tripod we've got a raised section here raised puck so when your smart telescope for example is rotating it's not going to catch on this bar includes a three eighths bolt with a extra handy hand turning nut on there that's 3d printed as well so we can pop our s50 in this case on to do some imaging in equatorial mode so there's a 3 8 unc uh, thread on the bottom of your c star s30 or s50 for example we can pop that bolt through and just see it home and you can see there's some clearance between the two so this thing can rotate and as you can see the center of gravity is quite nicely down the middle if it was attached there it would be leaning over and there'd be more chance of it tipping over but as you can see it's wobbling a bit because it's on carpet with lino underneath it and that's quite squashy but if that's on like concrete or grass that's not going to be wobbling around it's going to be more stable yeah the payload capacity of this is five kilograms so perfect for something like the s50 it might be you know future proof it for when the s70 comes out i don't know what that's going to come in at weight wise but this seems like a neat solution at a lower price point because if you buy something like a move shoot move wedge as i've done to use my other tripod that's around 80 pounds this whole thing including this full-size tripod's 80 pounds and you get the larger grip so we put this together as an affordable upgrade package primarily for smart telescopes but it's also going to work really well with star trackers like the star adventurer sky guide a pro bioptron and things like the um nomad by move shoot move something like that it's going to work well for those as well so yeah i'll put links in the description to this so you can check it out if you want to just uh, another option more options the better cool okay thanks very much for watching a big thank you to my channel members any thoughts and comments in the comments below and i'll catch you guys and gals on the next video bye for now